Criticate! Alright. Welcome. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, welcome to, the <laughs> welcome to the Criticast! We're talking about Assassin's Creed again! Are you sick of it yet? <laughs> <laughs> you, by the view count, you sure seem to be. <laughs> Fuck. I've, I've decided that we should, like, uh, in the future, just pick, like, a game... Like one game at that's a time a per good cast. Because <laughs> like this series idea was like uh, that's a good idea, but like there's not enough time to talk about an entire game series in one hour. Yes. So agreed. <laughs> so yeah, I in can the agree. future. But yeah, we, we're gonna we're gonna do our Assassin's Creed podcast. We're gonna wrap this. This will probably this be up. shorter than the other ones. Yeah. I'd assume we're only talking about a couple games. Yeah. So it shouldn't be that bad. I mean, we only talked about three games last time. We talked sort of. about the Americas trilogy, so yeah. it's perfect. Yeah, yeah, it worked out. Um, but for Rogue, we were like, and Rogue fucking blows, it's, fuck it. It's the fucking, it's the <laughs> same it's, it's shit. The same, it is the same thing. It's the same shit as, as 4. It's it nothing really different. It really is. No, no one, that's that's what it is. Uh, no so one, So if you liked 4, like you're going to like Rogue. Yeah, there's, there's no. I enjoyed playing it, but I liked 4. Yeah. But I, I was kind of <laughs> sick of it at that point because I went right, right onto it. Yeah. I, I think, waited a year. I think that's why people it wasn't as well received as four because like uh-huh. it was like people were just kind of over it at that point. I do think it has better gameplay than four. Like there are certain small oh, gameplay yeah, tweaks, whatever. Doubt. Doesn't matter. It's the same fucking game. Yeah, yeah. I was I was pretty mad when I started playing <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, but let's before we go in, let, how was how was your week? How was, uh, how was- Let's see. I, I did. A, I did a couple things. I went to the to the grand old city of Chicago. I looked oh. at my classes because I'm in college. Oh. <laughs> I had a cool. I had a coffee at a at a great uh, a great little coffee shop on Webash Avenue. If you guys are in the mm. Chicago area, check out the Goddess and the Baker. Uh, it's not as pretentious as it sounds. <laughs> it uh, sounds pretty pretentious. It's pretty. Yeah. A lot of cafes in Chicago do though. I, oh, when, I, when yeah. I was at DePaul, there was like. Um, the Marxist pig was oh my <laughs> yeah, God. I know. That's awesome. <laughs> like the most pretentious name. No, I never did. Cause I, I, I wasn't into, I'm not a hipster. I'm like, I was never in the coffee shops or anything. Fair, fair. Okay. You know, I was with a hipster. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> shout out to artist. Shout out the- to Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I, and I, and I had a fine lunch at Nando's. Fuck yeah. <laughs> That's Nando's. coming to an America. Yeah, Cheeky Nando's. I tried it for the meme when I was in Maryland once. Yeah, yeah. And then I just it's it's coming to the, it's coming more and more west every single day. Cool. So cool. I love Nando's. I'm excited for it, it to be a common fixture around here. Yeah. Uh if you if you have a Nando's near you, tell you you appreciate it. Yeah. Walk in and just say, I appreciate you, and then walk out. Yeah. <laughs> Always let your Nandos know that you love them. <laughs> <laughs> and then my, my buddy came back from the military. Yeah. Uh, and that was fun. Uh, cool. uh, well, he's, he was in boot camp. Right, right. So he's officially, he's officially uh, in, in the Army now. Nice. Uh, and he is he is a lovely man, and I spent a good day with him. It was great. Uh, then I overslept for this, for this <laughs> show, and I'm 30 <laughs> minutes late, and I'm tired. Can you tell? Yeah. <laughs> I need to wake up. I am I woke up at 6.30. I'm, I'm perfectly there I and think. everything. Well, I have to get here early to set everything up. Yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah, and, and I hooked up the CD drive. Yeah! Uh, yeah, so we're going to play. We're going to play a today. little special game for you yeah. guys. We can't spoil it because these cri- these casts come out way earlier than the episodes we yeah. put out. So, but you'll you'll see it. It's it, whenever you see the game that looks really fucking <laughs> stupid, stupid, and out of place. Oh, and on and, a related note to the stupid game, yeah, I watched Death Note. Oh, did you? That's your little hint to the game. <laughs> uh, I watched Death Note last night. Uh, cool. As an adaptation, horrible film. Oh, the film, not. Oh, not yeah, no, I'm talking about the oh, Netflix movie. Oh, oh, cool! With, with I a, can't with wait. Nat Wolf and Willem <laughs> Dafoe. Yeah, is it is it bad? It look. Uh, I think the trailers look bad. It has a very interesting visual style. Sometimes they fuck up the visual style, though. Sure. Like it's not perfect with the vi- like. I appreciate them trying as much as they do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ryuk looks cool as shit. Yeah, sure. and and the ways that they had to minimize budget was whenever he he's in shot, he's in the he's, background he's in and shadow. and out of and not shadow, he's out of focus. Oh, okay. Which, so he always has this blurry face, except for a few certain the, shots, and he looks horrible. In the trailer, they just get away with it by like he's always in shadow, like slight, like you mm-hmm. never see him full, like full. Exactly. On, that's that's how it is, is. Like yeah, earlier yeah, yeah. in the movie. Yeah. That makes uh, but sense. he looks great when he's in full light. They, sh- yeah. they show him like three times total, and he looks yeah, fantastic. Sure. sure. Um. Uh. They they kind of they push all of lights 
bad traits oh, wait, onto a different that's what character. It like, yeah, fuck. So, so he's definitely more of a heroic character, though he he that's, does have his bad spike. Like, like he's not like. But that's like that's not the point. The oh, point exactly. is that he is a bad guy. Yeah, I, I believe that the movie would have worked best as a straight cat and mouse. Al was great. Yeah, Al felt just like the real thing. Really? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. But like, yeah, that's God. Uh, I, I don't know. That's like one of those things that oh, I was yeah. looking for to be as, terrible. Yeah. As a, <laughs> but if you don't look at it as an adaptation and just view it as a standalone film, yeah, it's all right. I enjoyed it. Okay. Uh, well, I'm not a huge Death Note fan though, so uh, if you can't separate that from your mind, the way that people can't separate uh, things like Percy Jackson and, and the Last Airbender from theirs, like if you're well. a huge Death Note, fan, well, yeah, <laughs> come on, the Last Airbender. You That's can't, you fair. Can't. <laughs> I was I was more one. talking about yeah, yeah, the, the, the Lightning Thief, which is a pretty well, decent movie if you just watch who, by yourself. Y- there are people who hate on like the Harry Potter movies, and those are good movies. Yeah, like objectively and pretty good. Uh, as far as adaptations, I mean, go they even. leave yeah. out peeves, and that's they, a, that's a sin. Well, yeah, but. Is, but they leave out a lot of a lot of stuff too. And they like there's a huge criticism that all of Ron's positive traits go to Hermione because they want to make that's her better. Fair. Yeah. What would you? Well, if you if you were playing peeves in the Harry Potter films, <laughs> what would your voice be? Uh, I don't even fucking know. It's been forever since I read the book. Ooh, Potter! What you? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> my, my peeves. peeves. Yeah. yeah, you should send that in. Uh, speaking then, of like, shitty, no, shitty Joker voices, yeah. two Joker films were announced this week. Really? Yeah. What, what, what films? Uh, the Joker origin movie that takes place outside of the DC universe. No, uh, so no fuck. Jared Leto, but it's oh, being shit. executive produced by Martin Scorsese, uh, the very prestigious Hollywood director, Yeah. and uh, directed by the guy who directed The Hangover, but he's been directing better more more serious movies of re- of late, and I think that movie has a chance of being fucking sick. Sure. Uh, and then the Joker and Harley Quinn, uh, okay. which is in the DCU. Oh, okay. And that's going to come out before Gotham City Sirens, which is probably going to set up Harley Quinn's arc of being Ugh. by herself. Yeah. Yeah, that's something that they should have said. Uh, well, I won't go into the. Yeah, DC no, it's, it's. I agree. <laughs> I'll I'll watch uh, and I'll see how how it goes. So. Two Joker movies Two are coming Joker out. Movies, okay. Wow. In, a, in a pretty close time frame that are completely unrelated. Yeah. Stupid. Neat. <laughs> so what did you do this so week? So this week, uh, I, I obviously worked a lot. I didn't edit all that much either. <laughs> I need to. I need to get my ass in gear because I got a lot mm-hmm. of work to do. But you know, uh, basic stuff. Uh, I also watched. I, I watched Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt for the first mm. time. I'd never seen that, and that was, that was great. really good. Yeah, uh, it feels just like 30 Rock, and that's fantastic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it has some um, moments where it's like a little bit too Tina Fey for me, you know? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't think that she's a hundred percent all the time. Like, oh no, do. no, 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 no. Yeah, she's she's not. People give her like God status as a as a comedian. She's very funny. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, she's professional grade funny, obviously. Yeah. But like. And like not every I'm talking about like 99.9 percent of, of yeah. Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, but then when it doesn't land, it's particularly cringy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that that happens in every show. Oh yeah, of course, of <laughs> so, course. Yeah, yeah. There was that. Uh, I watched I watched One Piece Man a couple weeks ago. Actually, that was the fuck is One Piece Man or not One Piece Man, One Punch Man. <laughs> Got confused. One Punch Man. Yeah, the, the classic. What would you do if One There's Punch one man, man could could <laughs> stretch his arms as far as he could? No, no, no. One One Piece Man. Uh, punches everything into one piece. <laughs> so, like, he does a puzzle and he just punches it and it's done. Oh, I started watching the most incredible <laughs> anime this week. Yeah. Uh, it's called Golden Boy. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, it, it premiered in, it was 1998, I okay. want to say. Uh, and it's about this fucking, this neat uh, <laughs> who he drops out of college. Oh, that's not educated employment or in training. Yeah. Uh, and so he drops out of college because he learned everything. And it's just about <laughs> he learned everything. Yeah. <laughs> so he didn't finish That's college. Stupid! I love that. And then he, and then it's just him, uh, basically blundering into situations because he sees a beautiful woman and then tries to impress her. And it's it's so, it's better than it sounds because it sounds like typical <laughs> it anime sounds trash. Like garbage, yeah, but but it is so fucking funny. Okay, and like the character is really good. Like cool. like he's, he just seems like a genuine great guy, and I really recommend it to the audience. Yeah, uh, if you've ever seen that gif on or gif or webm wherever uh where it's um it's the guy anime guy swimming and he starts floundering terribly <laughs> like he dives in the water all impressively so it's just floundering and it's really funny and then he touches the uh. other end of the pool and then he turns around and it's hyper uh, realistic anime style and it just says 
So did you like my swimming? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's that anime. Nice. And it's nice. really fucking funny. That, that actually sounds a lot like One Punch Man. <laughs> Does it? Because <laughs> that's kind of like the concept of One Punch Man is that he's like, like if imagine Dragon Ball Z, but like Goku is like Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan God Mode Goku yeah. at like the beginning of the story. <laughs> so, <laughs> so like his problem is he really loves to fight. Like he loves it so much, but he's so strong that he beats everyone super easily. <laughs> like he doesn't fucking break a sweat. Like during one of the fights, he's like this one bad guy is wrecking, wrecking his friend and wrecks everything else and looks like a badass. And then he starts beating on, on uh, Saitama, the, the one punch man. And He's like, oh shit. He said he's going to be like in this form for a week. An entire week. That means it's Saturday. I missed the sale. <laughs> <laughs> and then he beats the shit out of him in one punch. And it's it's really funny. It's like a comedy kind of. I've wanted thing. to watch it for a it's, while. I've heard it's, it's great. Yeah. Um, and then I also started reading uh, Game of Thrones again. Oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like the yeah. actual book, Game of Thrones. And then I'm going to continue through another read through of A Song of Ice and Fire. Because that's always good. Because Game of Thrones is over after this today. Show? I mean, after next year, it's going to be over. Um, oh, the, but then is the season the is ending. Come out today? Or? Oh, oh, the season oh, is ending gotcha. today. Yeah, and then the maybe next I should have listened is, to you <laughs> instead of just interrupting over and Whatever. over again. It happens. Like an asshole. Like an asshole that has to be keep talking because he's doing a, a we're doing a radio show. show. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Oh, so we're. Good news great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the, the next, the one we're on now is Unity. Uh, it came out with Rogue, like same day. Yeah. Um, good idea in concept. Good, good idea in concept, because like Unity is all all about getting back to like being a hero yeah. assassin. None of this moral gray area shit, and uh, c- uniting the assassins' brotherhood and and the French Revolution, which is a cool ass period Super of time. Super cool uh, time period. And then yeah. And and then like to contrast Rogue, where you're like the bad guy and you're still in the Americas and everything. Yeah, and um, uh, sorry, Jacob's background on his on his computer turned to a picture with Taylor Swift with a spread pussy, and it's really distracting. It's not her. That look, I know, but it looks like <laughs> it's her. a good edit. Yeah, fuck, <laughs> sorry. Uh, one second, let me recompose my thoughts. Jacob, keep talking. It, it really so Unity, <laughs> uh, Rogue was like people wanted more of the same from from four, but they're like we can't keep giving you the same shit. So they they released two at the same time. You have Unity, which which moves the Assassin's Creed uh, franchise further a little bit, uh, and then Rogue is like satisfies people. But Unity was like their next step. Unity was yeah. like again they were trying to do the Assassin's Creed thing with. Uh, three thing where they're like this is the jumping point this is where you want to start assassin's creed if you've never played a yeah. game play this one that's a horrible it's, idea just stop doing that it doesn't work <laughs> <laughs> well if you're gonna do it just fucking commit oh yeah or instead or of commit. Just, just being stop. like here's a bunch of lore yeah <laughs> it's dumb it's stupid yeah yeah uh, but but another reason why i finally remember what i was gonna say sure. another reason why they why they did the whole uh split between two games mm. is so they put rogue on Xbox 360 and PS3. Oh, yeah. And they put Unity on PS4 and Xbox One. Right. So that they wouldn't have to deal with any technical restrictions in making it for making Unity for both systems. Which, which paid <laughs> off because Unity sort is of. beautiful. Unity, Unity is beautiful. It, it meant that the game had a lot of PC issues when it came out. People f- yeah. fucking hated it because of that. And people were like, th- th- this is a big reason why the Assassin's Creed uh, entire series kind of started to go down in popular. Yeah. Because popularity yeah. uh, was because of Unity launched and fucking people were turning into floating nothings with their yeah. mouths still in the air. <laughs> yeah. So, And like since it was all well, since since they have fully graphed things, they had the full mouth like mm-hmm. modeled. So like you just see yeah. like a floating entire human mouth and eyeballs with eye stalks and shit. <laughs> it's fucking horrifying. Yeah, it's it was it was not a success at first. P- uh, yeah. No. It's, people have softened on it now. Obviously, yeah, that I, I played it fully stuff. patched, so I have no opinions on the on, sure. the, on the glitchy sure. version. But that, yeah, yeah, we're we're really just looking yeah. at like. But to ignore those faults that have existed in the game would right. be would be incorrect. Yeah, yeah you got to mention them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have to mention that they happened. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I, I don't like Unity at all. I I think it it takes a lot of the stuff that. I think. 
there's there's a lot of problems with it. It introduces a, a neat concept. It introduces the uh, the the RPG element of like buying yes. skills. Yes. But but the way but they, they don't did they, it stupidly. Yeah. The way they did it was they took stuff away from you that you could do in previous games. Yeah. And then right you had the to bat. buy it back. <laughs> and, and the way that you bought it, it's not like like you get you kill a person and then you get some experience or no 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 no. Or you like you you do a fun like like little side mission or whatever. Yeah. They're locked to main sco- story progression <laughs> yes. the points. So there's no real level up system, no. but they keep calling it that. They yeah, they call it that and it's really it's stupid. Weird, yeah, and dumb. And it's there's like parts of it that are super designed around the multiplayer aspect. And since the game <laughs> is 3 years old when I played it, yeah. I it's not fun. <laughs> I couldn't play any the, multiplayer. Uh, yeah. Not to mention Assassin's Creed is not really set up for multiplayer. Like, like not at the, all. The fun multiplayer games that they had in like in in Rogue or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood through Black Flag yeah, all yeah. had competitive multiplayer, which I thought was fucking sick as hell. Yeah, they're really good games and people love them. Uh, but this this was the first game that was like the entire game is multiplayer. Yeah, it's designed for you. It's, it's not designed for competitive though. It's designed no, no, for cooperative for co-op. gameplay. Yeah, and it looks fun it looks but fun. I, you could never find but someone to play it yeah with there's entire skill trees that are like designed around healing mm-hmm. and like around support and it's very <laughs> specifically tuned so that when you're playing the game multiplayer yeah oh fuck i forgot what i was gonna say <laughs> oh shit well if you're playing multi uh, some of the complaints i've heard is that when you play multiplayer the game is Piss easy. That makes sense. Like, way too Cause easy. Because everyone gets a bunch of skills. Because everyone gets a bunch of skills, and everyone specializes. And, like, RPGs get around that by upping the difficulty and the numbers yeah, yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Assassin's Creed can't do that as well. So Because you just kill people with one hit. Because you just kill people. Yeah, that's so kind of the, that's <laughs> that's, the thing. you're an assassin. That's how it works. Yeah. So it just doesn't feel fun. Um, but, yeah, so Unity has a lot of problems. But Unity um, starts off with... Probably the best opening for an Assassin's Creed game, uh, mm. or best opening few hours, because you're t- you're taking on on this journey with Arno, who seems like he's they're they're always trying to get the new Ezio. Yeah, he seems like the new Ezio. You kind you're of, like yeah. you're like fuck. This guy seems cool. Then you get past the prologue and they drop you into the multiplayer arena. Yeah, and it just stops. He yeah, just, his character development stops. Oh yeah, so they can fit in co-op missions. Mm-hmm. And so the whole game is ruined by sucking the cock of multiplayer the whole yeah. time. And the game could have been okay. It could have been okay. With the story, at least. It, kind of. Yeah, but they, they did ruin the story. Like, mm-hmm. uh, they, they, they totally trash it. Because um, there's, like, special... There's extra missions that you do in multiplayer that you can unlock mm-hmm. and, like, that, that adds story and stuff. So the story can't be as linear as they need it to be. Yes, it, basically, a lot of Unity's problems comes from the fact that it's designed to play multiplayer, mm-hmm, but it mm-hmm. doesn't work well. Yeah, it's it's it, it, it would be like playing multiplayer chess. Exactly. <laughs> wait, that wait. No, no, no. Like Jacob. like like t- cooperative chess. Okay, like, okay, it, okay. It would okay. make yeah, yeah, no yeah, yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you know, th- th- it's just, and it has some other issues. I mean, let's talk about the gameplay. I mean, yeah. Uh, what's there's a lot of things that are different. Uh, which is something I can. Yeah kind of say to its credit i mean yeah. they didn't work out but they, they don't sure did out. try yeah they tried new things uh they, they have a new control style for climbing, climbing. which jacob hates and i, I love hate it. it uh i think it's it feels great uh, basically well instead of just holding r and holding a to run up buildings uh and then tapping a to jump off buildings or whatever now now you uh, hold r and hold a to climb up or b to climb down i i look at it differently um Instead of pressing one button to jump, you need to jump. You need B to jump down and A to jump up, and that's where that's where I think a lot of the confusion comes from. Because when I want to jump off a building, I can't just jump. I have to I have to jump down the building, and then it forces me yeah, to climb. It, it, yeah, okay, that so, is a huge issue. So yeah, and, and like I would have nothing. I would have no problem with like separating movement up and movement down. It's it's really that fact that it kind of pigeonholes you. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but I if you if you hold R and tap A, don't you just jump off the building like normal? I have tried a million times. Okay, then okay, yeah, then, yeah I'm probably because I love to do. That's like my main method of getting around. I yeah. love to take hits and fucking <laughs> break my leg off of buildings, but it it never lets me. 
Yeah. Uh, it forces you to climb it down. It takes it easy on you. And then, well, yeah, yeah, exactly. And then when there's stuff like like chase scenes, you're, you're going up and you're going down. And sometimes there's like every once in a while, once in a blue moon, you'll want to jump off something, but the game reads it as needing to go down. So instead of, of pressing up, you need to go down before you go up. So it creates a weird like oh, okay. half second of confusion. And, and it, that kind of messiness, it, say what you want about how boring the Assassin's Creed climbing system was before, because it is, but Unity is confusing, and I think that that's worse than boring. Okay, I, I, I can vibe with that. I just think it's a good idea in concept. It is. I, I'm uh, not and, saying And it comes not. back in Syndicate, and it's better. That's it, they, they do improve it in Syndicate. I still have some problems with it, but mm. like it's. I mean, not they kind of do away with climbing of uh, two lot. hours yeah. into Syndicate. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I, I, um, I really enjoy Syndicate. But, but, but Unity does another thing that I think is good in concept, but doesn't work out. What was that? Uh, the assassination missions are now like they're like dungeons. That yes, yes. <laughs> I actually, I, I don't think they do it well in this game. They don't. No. Uh, but. There's yeah, I like think they there's, even do it worse in Syndicate too. Yeah, yeah, yeah they do. <laughs> uh, they, what they, what they do is they set up the, this whole area like one giant labyrinth, and there are different paths. They they try and make it like Hitman, so there's like yeah. different paths to get to where you're going. Um, but the the paths are really specific, and you yeah. have to do things in a certain order, and it's not always clear. Like they give you one cutscene where they like they'll swoop into like a character, and he'll say yeah. something like, "I have a key," and then they'll move away. Yeah, you have no <laughs> idea where he is. Yeah, <laughs> you have no idea where he is. And it's like the key to what? What the fuck is this? And then you're like, <laughs> whatever. I'm just gonna go up, and you just go up and stab the guy, and then you walk away anyway. And honestly collecting all the things that like, or, or doing all the things that are zoomed in on yeah. just gets you a quote unquote more satisfying. <laughs> right, kill. If you just right. run for the guy and stab, stab him, him, it's he's, good it's enough. Better. Yeah. Honestly, it <laughs> yeah. gets the job done. So, you know, it's really confused. Like mm-hmm. th- it's a cool concept really and that, is. And that's a big problem with the, with the mission structure in general, mm-hmm. because it's, it's just uh kill a guy, kill a guy, kill a big guy <laughs> yeah. over and over. It's, right. it's the same structure, which is confusing Yeah, because ever since Assassin's Creed 2, they've added like a million different mission structures. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you don't have, like, they're not, they're no longer pigeonholed into doing this, yeah. but they still do <laughs> Yeah, it, for no reason. It, it's it's the big c- complaint that comes back from Assassin's Creed 1 where you're just doing the same shit the over same. and yeah. over and over again. All the time. I mean, Ugh. I love running around Paris. Like, sometimes I still boot yeah. the game up and run around oh, Paris really? because uh, <laughs> the game has, since it was specifically designed for next-generation consoles, mm-hmm. uh, and and the better your PC is, the better your experience is because they can load in more people. Well, I didn't... I wish I had bought it on PC, but I, I didn't have it on PC. I gotcha. bought it on PS4, too. So that's part so, of my okay. <laughs> disdain So for maybe... It. Why I say I think it's the most beautiful game I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and definitely then, part of it. Mm-hmm. Because um, it is. It, on PC, if you play on I'm ultra sure. settings, the game is magnifique. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is beautiful looking, and it, yeah. it looks legitimately like real life, even in gameplay. And uh, you're running through the crowded city streets, and, and it's it's uh, revolutionary uh, France. France. And, and, it's, yeah. and there's people rioting in the streets. There's always something yeah. going on somewhere, and it's always randomly generated, but it feels uh, like it isn't. I actually I like the idea of uh, the French Revolution for like a story. Mm-hmm. And, like, it, it is fun, like, going through and, like, there's people rioting and stuff. Yeah. And, like, there's someone committing crimes and you mm. stop them. But for the story, I don't think it's... It doesn't come in. It does... Uh, yeah, it doesn't really come in. And they... But they're kind of forced to. Because the, the French Revolution is a complex topic. Yeah. So, <laughs> they can't... So, they tell like, you through newspapers. So, yeah. So, it's... They can't do it like the American Revolution where, like, remember the Boston Massacre? They're like, okay, there's, like, five political leaders. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, we don't have time to get into why they're important, but one of them is a dick and the other are kind of dicks. And so, like, it's it's too complicated to have made a story around. Exactly. So, so they completely ignore it instead. So they completely ignore it. And then they, like, put it all on Arno. And Arno's not a great character. <laughs> yeah, he's he so, set up as a great character. Uh, yeah. And then he becomes, the, like, it, they treat it like he had a character arc at the end. Yes. And yeah. then, so, like, like, he's a fine character at the end. <laughs> he's okay. But, like, yeah. yeah but, that. like, they just kind of, like, 
he's at the beginning of the story, and then he's at the end of the story. Yeah. And then, like, three times throughout the story, they're just like, <laughs> Arno just becomes himself. It's like, it's like that Bo Burnham joke where he, like, uh, he speaks really real to the audience, and then he slips back <laughs> yeah. into his stage persona where he's like, oh, I'm back. Oh. That's pretty much what Arno's Blacked like. Blacked out for a second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but, yeah, exactly. And And I think part of the problem is that they treat him like, they treat him like Brotherhood Ezio. Like, where yes. he's really serious, like, a second after he becomes an assassin. Yeah, and it's stupid. <laughs> because that's not how it's like, like. That's not, yeah. But, it's, yeah, in, instead of making him charming and, and you know, uh, kind of flirtatious, they just, he's super serious the second he becomes but an assassin. God, is he sexy. He is. He's he's hot as shit. He, he looks is. like a real person, so I have no qualms in saying that. <laughs> Yeah, sure. <laughs> but that's that's unity in a nutshell. It's it's, it's oh, and also, uh, it does do its job in kind of uh, dissuading you from just running in and gunning, or at least it did for me. Uh, I don't you you, you don't extent. you don't seem to have this issue, but I thought it was annoying. If anyone saw you for even a second, even if you, even if you were just running around in the overworld. Just a million oh. guns shot you from every angle, and because <laughs> because time has been sped up, yeah, yeah, yeah. guns are better now. Well, so you you run around uh, a corner and and you jump off a building and or you start to climb a building had, and you shot by eight guns. To me, that had more to do with the fact that there were a million guys. It yeah. wasn't the guns that was the problem. That's fair. It, yeah, because like I had that problem. Uh, there's like one graveyard mission that I remember with hatred. Uh, you're trying to kill like an assassination thing. And there were just, there were like 50 guys and to kill them was not hard to fight mm. them was not hard. Yeah. But the fact that there were 50 million of them, the game thought that that was the same as difficulty. And they were and all so shooting just, their fucking <laughs> stupid guns. <laughs> well, yeah, there were guns, but like it was the sword part two and, and just, it was, it was the guys more yeah. than it was the guns. Uh, and the sword fighting has been oversimplified. Yes. Like I complained about the, the sword fighting being simplified in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Yeah. They and it is just <laughs> fuck yeah. the sword play in this game. <laughs> yeah, it's it's Cause, unplayable because it's based off of fencing. And yeah, fencing is not fun. <laughs> it's like like boring. It's, it's fun if well, you're yeah, in the sport. Is, yeah, fencing like, is interesting to watch sometimes. It's interesting to watch. And James, it's Bond interesting it to do. Like if you're actually fencing, but when you when you combine it into like button commands, yeah, no. it's like thrust, parry, thrust, parry. Thrust, thrust. <laughs> like, Times 50 dudes, <laughs> some of them with guns. Yeah, exactly. It's and it's just not fun. Yeah. So that's that's unity. Yeah. In, unity, in a word, disappointing. Is, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's dripping. It's the worst kind of thing because it has so much potential. Yeah. It's it's really the, the amalgam of what Assassin's Creed is in mm. one game. There's yeah, so much potential much. <laughs> and it's just fucked. Yeah. Then Syndicate <sighs> comes out. The syndicate comes out. And their mission stance with Syndicate was... Oh fuck! People didn't like Unity. <laughs> <laughs> that's still their missions. <laughs> that's true. I think that's like <laughs> that's Ubisoft's new motto. <laughs> oh fuck! They didn't like Unity. <laughs> and then, uh, so they completely, for the first time in the series in uh, like six years, mm -hmm. got rid of multiplayer. Yeah. There is not a single multiplayer element in this game, which is smart. And it's fucking awesome. I, I think it's so it feels smart. great. Yeah. Oh, there there is kind of like there's there's uh, community chests. Where you're like right. your friend, if and they don't really add that much, but no. it's just like kind of cute. Like yeah. if your friend yeah. finds a little specific chest in a certain time frame, it'll then appear in your game. Yeah, and it, that's cute. But it's, it's like it's that's nice. it. But yeah, there's no like interaction between people. Yeah, or whatever. Good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, and, and this one you play as as a brother and sister, uh, Jacob and Evie Fry, who I love. Uh, I think yeah, they're, they're great characters. They're great, and they like they exemplify like the two parts of the game. So like Evie is like the sneak master. Yes. She's sneaky, snacky. And she like goes in and she's the best at assassination. And then Jacob is the badass at fighting. So he'll, he'll be way better at beating the shit out of people. And, and, it, and it shows a dichotomy between the two kinds of assassin's Creed protagonists. Yeah. So the ultra <laughs> super serious one is Evie. Yeah. And the, the cocky badass, uh, flirty kind of guy. That's yeah. Jacob. Yeah. And it works really well. I agree. Like, yeah, because no matter how what your play style, you always have a character. Mm -hmm. um, you now have two level up trees, which are actually level up trees now. Yeah. <laughs> so so you actually you beat people, you get experience, you have a point, you put it in a skill. It, yeah. It, like 
why and, did and you, you and you scale them that? to your, scale them to each character like you level right. up all the stealth shit for Eevee first and each yeah. one has their specialties yes like they they only they can unlock certain like it's like three thirds things yeah it's not much but it's but it's it enough helps. yeah it's enough to make them unique and to like if you're going into a mission where it doesn't matter or like if you're clearing so what they did for this is you, you're playing in London and it's kind of like a like a GTA a str- Saints Row thing where like there's rival gangs. And you're going in and you're clearing them yes. by doing little mini games. Mm-hmm. And so it's fun to be like, oh, this is a stealth one. I'll switch to Evie yeah. and I'll go in and I'll fight with her. And then for like big brawls, you take out Jacob. Mm-hmm. It, it's it's nice. You There's clear no all the boroughs of, of, of Victorian London. Mm-hmm. And and something that I, I really respect about this game is is they tried to make it different because sword fighting's <laughs> gone. Tried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like you now have a couple of There's different <laughs> uh, weapons. When, when I booted, when, when I first played it, when I first played Syndicate, my first reaction to combat was, oh, this is completely different. And then five seconds later, I'm like, oh, wait, no, it's not. The animation is just different. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it does feel it feels better different in a way. For, I, like, I'd have to play first, it again. It feels different for like the first like few. Because what, what they do now is instead of like you press, you attack with your sword, you, you combo the shit out of your buttons. Jacob or Evie unleash a fucking hellstorm of fists. And it's it, awesome. it's it's pretty awesome. It doesn't, but like mechanically, eventually you'll realize that it's not that much different. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> like there's, it's the same thing. You counter different people. You dodge. You you grab people to take bullets for you. You mash the X button. And and they've kind of brought it back. Like they've definitely undone what they did in Unity. Yes. And yes, then yes. they've they've kind of brought it back a few games. Like it, it like. To Assassin's Creed Brotherhood standards, yeah. which was a complaint yeah. at the time, but in but Syndicate, it's a plus. For, yeah. <laughs> now, uh, with with reference to what Unity could be, yeah. it's better. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it immediately feels better. Um, and stealth a, feels great. Stealth feels fantastic. Yeah, the, the stealth is... Because every single area that you do stealth in mm-hmm. is very specifically designed around stealth, yeah. which I was like... Shit, why didn't they do this for the rest of the series? Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> uh, but but there's like there's and they instead of taking away stuff that you could do, like one of the things in Unity they took away was double assassinations. Yeah, which feel really fun, but you have to earn it back. They give that back to you, but then they build off of that, so you can double assassinate people like pretty much in the beginning. Yeah, and then you can do shit like you can auto auto loot people if you stab them and like if you assassinate them, uh, you can jump. Uh, double assassinate. Yeah. You can fucking... Evie has one of the coolest abilities. She can just stand still and turn literally invisible. Yeah. <laughs> I never really so used it, but it no. always felt like it's good to have. It's you know? good to have. So, like, if, if someone's coming, you're like, oh, shit, stop. And then they can't see you unless they run into you. Yeah. So, uh, you and know, that, it's cool. Stuff. It's dope. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the story's pretty good. The story's pretty good. Uh, I mean... I haven't finished it, actually. Oh, okay, okay. I, I'm on the last mission. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, and, and you ended up disliking the game, right? Overall, I, I think that it was a step up from Unity. Mm. It's um, definitely a step in the right direction for the whole series. It's definitely a step in the right direction. It's definitely the worst selling entry in the free, in the series. No yeah. one gave a shit about Syndicate. Yeah. Uh, it's just that it didn't fix enough. I mean, climbing, climbing, like a lot of the fixes are patches. Like I said, the animation for punching is cool, but it didn't fix combat completely. Yeah. Climbing is just about the same and just as frustrating for me. But now you have a, a grapple gun type thing that they can just take you to wherever you need to go. Yeah, and it feels better than it climbing. Feels, it feels better than climbing. But like I, I would argue that they need to fix climbing I instead agree. of adding like an instant. Yeah, so it's, it it fixes the wrong things in my opinion. I I feel like it fixes some of the right things, uh, and it does it doesn't fix enough for it to be like amazing. Yeah, but it sure is fun. Uh, more yeah. fun, uh, and and they add yeah, um, you can now jack carts, uh, yeah. like like uh uh carriages, horse drawn yeah, carriages, yeah, yeah. like like a Grand Theft Auto game. Yeah. So you throw a person <laughs> out of the cart, and honestly, the the cart physics feel fucking great. They're, they're fine. I yeah. feel they feel like like <laughs> if you take a turn too hard, you're gonna lean. You're gonna lean. But you can use the leaning. To, to create better momentum for your next turn if you time it out perfectly. Yeah. And it all feels like you're really in control of, of, of this carriage, and it feels great, in my opinion. It's fine. It's good. Uh, again, my thing is Assassin's Creed te- seems to take from other games. This game is, is kind of like Assassin's Creed GTA. Oh, it is, yeah. And, like, that's not a bad... Like, I like I like Saints Row. I like 
GTA to an extent. And, like, the, I don't know. Assassin's Creed needs to fix its core gameplay before it, like, starts doing niche stuff. I, yeah. So, I like, agree. It, that stuff's good and all, but you got other things to work on, <laughs> Ubisoft. <laughs> I don't uh, know. It looks like... New? I mean, I, all, all the new stealth mechanics are great. I actually found yeah. myself using my tools way more than this game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like your smoke bombs yes. and, you, and your yes. throwing knives. Throwing knives are great because there's certain things that you could throw in the environment that'll knock it onto people. Yeah. And like, uh, there, there's, there's like a... There's there's power to how well you throw your knives. Yes. And um, you can do headshots for really satisfying kills. It's not like in like... Was it two where you just kind of like, oh, hey, a guard. Foop. And they're dead. <laughs> and they're dead. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you need to be stealth to really make use of them. Yeah. So it, it makes it smart. But one one gripe I have with the game is the mission structure can't – because you have oh, to yeah. to complete a burrow, you have to complete, like, a few different mini games within. <laughs> yeah. But the mini games are the same each time. <laughs> yeah. And then it always ends with, like, a boss fight with some weird cockney gang leader. And mm-hmm. it's, like – it's very predictable and very – formulaic yeah you don't really Not get attached fun. to any of the villains <laughs> no uh i mean even the big villain that they're leading up to he looks like fucking starburns from community <laughs> yeah, he does <laughs> so uh, <laughs> he's throw up a picture of starburns <laughs> and then throw up a, uh, whatever his fucking name what, what, is throw yeah, up his the, name, the syndicate the guy. guy yeah it's funny but it, yeah like, again i, I mean you, you kind of get like like as the finale starts happening more and more you start to see him doing evil things to Jacob and Evie. And you realize yeah, that yeah. you've learned to really like them <laughs> yes. because you personalize them. I mean, they're your characters. So, yeah. Uh, and you play them like the ideal way to play them is the way that their personalities are set up. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, and the game is set up around that. Right. So Jacob is aggressive and, and Evie is kind of like more tactful and, and mm-hmm. stealthy. So they really it's feel like, like your characters. Yeah. It's, it's, it's game design that mm-hmm. reflects... Uh, the story, it's, which it's is a, great. It's a smart choice. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and and then so in the end, when you're doing the finale, which Jacob hasn't done, uh, no. you start to get more and more attached to them defeating the villain, mostly because he's kind of beating on your on your dudes. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> fuck him. Sure. Uh, I mean, and, the, yeah. and like the um, like the dungeon system from Unity appears. It does. Uh, but in this game, it's even more easy to yeah. just run in and just it's stab the guy super easy it doesn't it, it i just ended up doing I, that I, I did too i tried once like you get more experience but yeah i mean no matter what if you end the game by completing all the burrows you're gonna have every unlockable right i, I tried once to do it it, it was frustrating and it, i'm sure it yeah. was not like it was just like a lock and key system it was like grab the key from this guy kidnap this guy make sure he talks don't get caught here uh and and at the end, I was just like, I fucking hated should've that. Should have just killed just, the guy. I should have just killed the guy. And eventually, I mean, that's what I did for the rest of them. Cause, yeah, okay, you know, yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, so but, I, yeah. it's overall, you, you syndicate step in the right direction. Step in the right direction. Uh, still not there, though. And something I've learned recently about Assassin's Creed Origins, which is the next <laughs> game coming up. Yeah. Uh, uh, they took a year off. Oh, wait, we got to talk about the movie. Oh, fuck oh, the fuck. movie. Get your fucking shorts ready. Here oh. comes. <laughs> this is Assassin's Creed the movie Ugh. came out in theaters December 2016 and was a crock of fucking shit. It's horrible. It's not good. I think we dislike it for different reasons. Yeah, you and I dislike it for the exact <laughs> opposite reasons. Not not opposite reasons, just just slightly different. I, I think overall, I hate the movie because instead of using time to develop its main characters character, <laughs> uh, it spends a lot of time it, it's very forced because it's an assassin's creed movie to go back to the past uh yeah. and if they just made a movie set in the assassin's creed universe that's like more of like a political th- like kind of like kind of political thriller with the assassins and templars yeah i feel like it would have been a lot better and that's what they try to do and that's I, why the movie fucking falls apart yeah, in the third okay. act see i actually agree with that but i would have taken it from the opposite direction i would have said ditch all of the shitty, not shitty, but ditch all of the future stuff and focus on the past. Because what Assassin's Creed is, is a uh, historical fiction thriller. Yes. So either way, I think that your way would work too. But I, I was just recommending just focus on the past. Okay. I, I can actually. And, it's and, this and weird the thing. hybrid thing that they do that's if just you horrible. Have uh, have scenes in the past and you 
and and, and they take place in Spain. Yeah. Um, here's a good idea. <laughs> How about instead of them, you know, it's good to have them speak Spanish. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, you know, even though they automatically translate it for the main character in the game, uh, <laughs> it's whatever. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and go ahead and put fucking subtitles on. <laughs> you can't understand a word they're saying unless yeah. you speak Spanish, and it's not even like it's fucking ye old Spanish. Yeah, it it goes beyond. Like bilingual bonus, where like if you're speaking Spanish, you get a little extra something. It's like the majority of it is in fucking Spanish. Mm-hmm. So why? I just why? It's like <laughs> it's like having like like if you're a Spanish speaking person, having half uh, having seventy percent of a movie in Spanish, and then having thirty percent in yield English. Yeah, yeah. Which, what the it fuck? Makes no sense. Uh, and there's like another shitty thing that they do in the past is they try and tie the past story into the Prince of Persia. Yeah. Cause the, the, like the whole thing is that he's trying to save this kid and it turns out the kid is the Prince of Persia, but like, that's it. That's the, that story that I summarized in a sentence <laughs> is literally all the plot there is there. Yeah. It's, it's just <laughs> the movie's like, fuck, we need action scenes. Oh, yeah. uh, wait, what's <laughs> the past? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you- and I think Michael Fassbender does great in this movie. Yeah, uh, yeah with he what does. He, I mean, he always does with yeah, what he has. Because he's a good, yeah. He's, he's fantastic. He's one of my favorites. Right. It's not It's not him. It's like everything around him. Um, mm-hmm. The shitty, I don't know. You know, there, him, there's, there's a weird I, I found story. his relationship with his dad kind of interesting, yeah. but then they throw it away. The, and the story, basically, everything that's interesting, they throw it away. Yeah, pretty much. They they make him hate the, the assassins, uh, the assassin brotherhood for kind of no reason and then yeah. he comes back for kind of no reason um the i will say that the the whole we we talked i talked about how i kind of hated the idea of the bleed effect and everything it mm-hmm. makes more sense in the movie because yeah. the the animus is this giant fucking like puppet machine that you plug it into it sure looks cool <laughs> yeah so like when when he, when like he's doing back shits black flips and shit in the past He's doing them in real life. His mm. body's actually doing them, and, and um, it, assisted by the machine. And th- that actually, the movie exists in the game canon, which I think is yes. cool in a concept. It, it could be. And so, so they don't explain it in the movie, but the reason why it's not just a thing you lay down in and it takes you to the past, uh, this one is to enhance the effect of the bleed effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that makes sense w- without fucking your brain up. Yeah, was, is the point. <laughs> It doesn't work though. No, it's not at all. Fucks his brain. <laughs> but there is a kind of a cool scene where uh, he's about to escape from the facility. They have him. Oh yeah, he's he's kidnapped by the. Fucking oh yeah, Templars it's basically the plot of the first game. Yeah, but c- like kind of more nuanced. Or fucking who cares? <laughs> uh, and then um, a, a, there's a really cool scene, or at least I think it's cool, where he's in he's in his like. In the room, and he just escaped from the machine, and and yeah. the the facility is like on like it's locking down, and he needs to escape right now. Yeah, and he's around the room, and he sees all of his ans- uh, assassin ancestors, and one of them is Arno from Assassin's Creed Unity. Yeah, and I think that's really yeah, fucking cool. Easter eggs like that are cool. That scene in general, because like that's cool. Like, oh man, look, it's the guy that I played as. Uh, the, the whole, the whole point of that scene though, is to get him to see his mom who is an assassin. Yeah. And he's like, Oh mom, you were killed for the assassin's cause. I should be an assassin too. Like, yeah. And then he like takes over as a badass assassin. And then there's a sick fight scene, which, you know, the the action sequences, I can't really fault them for. Yeah. No. Well, there, there's, they have a lot of the whole, like zoom in on every putt and punch and cut. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> kind of looks jarring, like especially in the past. Yeah, it yeah, looks yeah. like shit. Oh, you know what? I, I, I'm gonna get off Assassin's Creed for just a second. What? I, I rewatched Kingsman. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. Oh God, I love that movie so much. It's like a cult classic. Yeah, I heard. I heard the action scenes in those are like so pure good. nut. There's one that's amazing though, and it's. I think everyone who's seen the movie will know. He's in a church and he's fucking like Westboro Baptist Church people up. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. And. uh it's a really good fight scene, and what they do uh, is so fun. They reduce the frames per second, so it looks like everything he's doing is kind of stop motiony. Oh! But the reason they do it is so that they don't have to jump cut around. So they they can like insert effects and stuff and and switch people out really easily because they've reduced the frames per second. 
Interesting. It's really smart and it looks so fucking I, I, I've cool. been wanting to watch that movie for a while. Oh my God. I love the director. I the love jizz. Kick-Ass. <laughs> I hate Kick-Ass 2. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen Kick-Ass 2. <laughs> Kick-Ass 2 is, is upsetting. It, <laughs> it is upsettingly garbage. Oh, and it's so unbelievably disgusting. There's a yeah. scene where someone pukes, shits, and pisses all at once <laughs> on camera. <laughs> Oh my for God. no it's reason. Garbage. I love it. It's so fucking gross for no now. reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Their first one wasn't like that. Yeah, I know. I know. Ugh. Like you should see it just for I how should. shit it is. I, I should. Um, anyway. <laughs> whatever. Fucking so I was, I was just scared the movie blows yeah, and it's yeah, hard to it's talk so about because it's so fucking confusing. Yeah. Th- like it's just there's not no well character gone. driving motivations. There's not. It feels like there's a million <laughs> scenes cut. Yeah. Well, there, there's. There's like three opening sequences, really. Yeah. There's like the one in the past. There's his childhood, and then we see him as an adult. But it's since they try and set it up like a murder mystery, we don't know what happened in that that middle opening scene. Yeah. So we're like, the fuck happened? It's like a totally new opening. It's it's all oh my garbage, god. And I his hate mom it. was killed by the Templars. <laughs> yeah. Right. Which uh, I mean, I guess this movie was. I don't know why the fuck they tried with this movie to make it seem like they were doing something like that anyone could watch right like they right. marketed this movie as just like a yeah let's see this fun action movie but it ties so it's heavily so... into assassin's creed yeah <laughs> like it's... they don't even try it might be it a not. marketing failure too it's completely a marketing <laughs> failure like... <laughs> anyway and, and it bombed no one saw it it, no, it was no, it was a huge bomb it. No one, no one gives a fuck about the Assassin's Creed movie. No, they're never going to talk about it in the games again. They, they keep trying to make these big blockbuster video game movies, like the World of Warcraft movie. I still haven't, I still haven't seen it. Or sorry, just the Warcraft movie, not World of Warcraft. Yeah, uh, I still haven't seen it. But like, it ties, like it ties into the first Warcraft game with like the first humans and the first orcs yeah. facing off. Who gives a shit? There are World of Warcraft fans who don't give a shit. Why, <laughs> why would you try and make that a, a movie? I've heard from friends who are fans of Warcraft that they really liked it. Really? Yeah. Maybe I should say, because I love the first game and I love World of Warcraft, but if you're trying to market it to the general populace, no one gives a fuck about fucking... Exactly. uh, What's his name? Who cares? It's been forever. It's been forever. (laughs) I haven't haven't played him, so I I, I had no interest in this film. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, Castlevania on Netflix was good. Oh, yeah. And that's roughly movie length. It's four episodes long. Okay. Uh, watch it if you just binge watch it. It's it's the length of a movie and it's pretty good. Cool, cool, uh, cool. and I liked it. Yeah, uh, that's it. That's the only. That's video game so movie. so, what do you want to see about? Oh, in origins. In origins, uh, it's it's been in development. This is what I was saying earlier. Yeah. So if you're mad at me for cutting off earlier, so don't worry. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, in origins, it's it's the Assassin's Creed Black Flag team. Yeah, but for the past four years. Instead of having to just do one year titles, they've had this specific team making this game, mm. and they've they've said it's going to be chock full of stuff. It's not going to be a, 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 a dumb bad open world because they're aware that <laughs> Assassin's Creed has that issue. Yeah. They're saying it's very specifically an action RPG, and they've never called the games RPGs before. No. So that that is a that is a hefty claim to start calling this one an action yeah, RPG. Yeah, that's kind uh, of worrying actually. It's got a, it makes me nervous. Kind of an interesting uh, setting. It's it's ancient Egypt. Yes, uh, and it's it looks really good. Like the ga- graphics are great. Um, you, your character, his proficiency is not really with blades this time. It's with bows and arrows. Yeah. Uh, and that's cool uh, yeah. to, to switch the... I mean, I'm sure blade combat's going to be easy, whatever. Yeah, you never... But uh, I, I have hope. really high hopes for this. Yeah. Because hopefully they learned from the high reception of Syndicate. Because Syndicate got great reviews. Yeah, it's just no one played it. <laughs> it's just no one played it. So I'm hoping that... Because, I mean... Even in Syndicate, they took elements that didn't work from Unity, and yeah. that game got bad reviews. Yes. So if they take what made Syndicate, Black Flag, Unity, if they take all the things that could make Assassin's Creed great and put it in this game, which they probably won't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, th- I, I'm i a cynic, but there, there, is, there are hopeful signs. Like, yeah. the fact that they're going backwards in time means that they can take out the gun issue completely. Yes. Uh, the fact that they're going back in time means that they can simplify a lot of the things that have gotten too muddied up and can kind of go back to basics a little bit, kind of go back to what two is. Yes. And that still implement a lot of the things that worked from the later series. Oh, and you can fly a bird. 
Yeah. You can fly a fucking bird. You can warg into a fucking eagle, I guess. No, he doesn't turn into an eagle. No, 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 no. Like, warg from... Sorry, I'm reading A Song of Ice and Fire. Warg, like, <laughs> like in that universe where you just kind of, like, transfer your consciousness over. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. And fucking yeah. control it. Uh, basically, like... Instead of having eagle eye vision, <laughs> you have literal eagle basically eye the vision. Basically, seagull, uh, the seagull minigame shit from Wind Waker. Yeah. <laughs> Which uh, was always cute and fun. Mm. So, you know, who fucking knows? I think it looks pretty fun. I'm excited for it. I'm I'll probably going to buy it. I mean, when it comes out, I'm going to be balls deep in Mario Odyssey. Yeah. So uh, I probably won't play it until maybe Christmas time. I probably won't play it because I think next month, Dongarampa V3 is coming to PS4. Ah, okay. So I'm going to lock myself away for 20 hours. That's well, what happened when I got uh, Dongarampa 2. I I literally only came out once to to go to uh, go to acting class. <laughs> <laughs> and then I well, beat the game straight. Through. I will tell you how <laughs> Origins is in my because we as as much differing opinions as we have in games, we yeah. seem to have pretty much the exact same opinions on Assassin's Creed. We don't have that different of opinions on games. That's I, like I was listening fair. to it in the like again, and we're not that far off. It's just like when we when we we're passionate people about yeah. this. So like when we argue, we argue hard. Yeah, it's like, but it's not like like. Y- some, something that I, I've learned from doing Critic K with you, mm. it, it's something you mentioned in the last podcast. You are slightly what? achievement oriented. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I am a lot more fun oriented. Yeah. And I was, I don't know how much time we have. Uh, I, I have a little bit of time. of time. I was, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was thinking about um, Mar- uh, Mark Rosewater. I mentioned him yes. a lot, but he's influential. Creator of, of uh, Magic. Not, not creator. Uh, head, lead designer for a Fuck. long time. Lead designer of Magic. <laughs> yeah. I thought I was, I had it that yeah, yeah, I know. Sorry. It's confusing, but he didn't, he didn't make the game. He's just, he made it what it is today. Okay. And okay. A lot of people like it. And um, so he, he, he wrote, he writes articles all the time because he was a communications major. Okay. Uh, he wrote an article um, saying how marketing in, in his, de- in his, you know, domain looks at, players for the game and he he labeled them spike johnny and timmy and they're, okay. they're three different types of players that look for three different things from magic um timmy is like looking for you know oh man it's a game about casting spells i want to feel like i'm casting a spell and like look at this goblin that's fucking sick and i summon a fucking dragon you know kind of m- more about the experience of playing Magic the Gathering and going out and, and having friends and, you know, mm-hmm. interacting with people and stuff like that. Johnny's are, are creative mechanically. So like I'm a Johnny. Uh, I, I like interacting with the mechanics and, and building decks that are unique and creative, uh, making things that are themed. For instance, like in, in Pokemon, I created a Tyranitar who doesn't attack. His whole thing is that he can take, he can take like, 15 surfs to the face and it won't phase him. So I right. love it when I when people are like, I use hydro pump and then it hits him and it does like 10% damage and they're like, what what the fuck did you do that? How is that working? <laughs> and then I freak them out. That's my that's where I get the enjoyment. It's not about winning the game for me. Um, and then spikes are all about winning the game. They're hyper okay. competitive. They want to win. So any mechanic that gives them that edge is what they look for. I think you're more of a Timmy. I'm definitely which, a Timmy. <laughs> which, uh, de- there's no... You know, like, when I play a Sonic, I'm just like, yeah, I'm fucking going fast. <laughs> it looks pretty. I'm going to yeah. jerk my little willy off to it. Right. <laughs> and when I play Sonic, I'm like, there's nothing for me to do. I'm just running fast and being pretty and playing Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> so... Yeah, well, you I think certainly are being pretty. Yeah, and then of course Olivia is our spike in that trio. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> she's so competitive. It's kill, kill, it's, kill. It's fucking or die. It's vicious. She has no friends when it comes to game. Like no allies. She will stab you in the back for a horrifying. Game. <laughs> then again, I did do that once, uh, and she never let it go. That's true. <laughs> what so, was the name of that game? <laughs> The resistance. So, like when we when we first met, I have a I have a board game called The Resistance, which is basically kind of like Werewolf, uh, but like you know you're you're playing with spies and shit. And so, one of the first interactions Robert had with Olivia, we were playing the game ever. Uh, yeah, like ever. And he lied to her to win the game, I, <laughs> which is what okay, you're supposed to do. Yeah, you're supposed to lie and pretend that you're you're the, you, not. You're a, on her side. Yeah, like, yeah. On I, I'm side. I'm one of the good guys. <laughs> yeah. but I was one of the bad guys. Yeah. And if I made it to the end, we the whole team loses. Yeah. 
So I it shook was... her hand, <laughs> looked her in the and eyes, promised. and promised her. <laughs> and it was a vicious betrayal. It was a horrid oh, lie. I love that game. <laughs> and uh, it is, she hasn't let it go. It's it's she been it's been two it years. <laughs> uh, I haven't lied to her even in a game once. Yeah, I know. <laughs> But that, I mean, that's why that game's fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> yeah, it's so much fun. But yeah, so that's, I, I just think that that's kind of like how, <laughs> that's how we should, you know, look at it going forward. Because I, I, I look at everything very mechanically and I, I'm yeah. trying to expand my worldview and to see how, how other people might, oh, it's leet. <laughs> Didn't notice that. Sorry, it's something on my, Jacob's background. My, my background. Can't, don't just say <laughs> yeah, that. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's a Pokemon Go joke, and the CP so of the character is one three three seven. Three, three, seven. Leet. So yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I think that's that's where a lot of our differences come in. Even looking at Assassin's Creed, you know, mm-hmm. that, that's where a lot of the differences. Yeah, I agree. Came in. Uh, um, so next week we're not going to talk about Assassin's Creed. What? Finally! Fucking <laughs> awesome! We'll figure it out. We'll, I don't we'll know do, who gives we'll, a shit. Maybe we'll I'll do, talk about the Mummy. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do like a game or a movie or like a, a small topic. Like maybe we, we'll talk about ourselves. Yeah, maybe we we won't do like one sweeping long. Maybe series maybe right we now. can have a thesis like like what are top ten top ten sex stories, <laughs> and then I'll be like. Never heard of it. <laughs> Can't do it. <laughs> ED. Missionary. What? What's the mission? <laughs> <laughs> if you saw the face he made. <laughs> yeah, sorry. He, I do, he I made make a, a lot of that faces. Was like dumbfounded. Like, yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> Come on, game designers. <laughs> missionary. What is missionary? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think definitely the type of gamer I am is missionary. Uh, yeah. I really focus on the mission. I really <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes I like to go doggy style and, and, you know, really try and find the fun in it. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> anyway. And sometimes I like to do reverse cowgirl when I'm getting fucked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess I guess that's how we're going to end this one. <laughs> so <laughs> well, we'll see you guys uh, next week. I love you. Don't, I mean, subscribe, but don't, don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs>